Hi students. I plan to launch few web videos on cognitive radio subject. But before you need to know about cognitive radio, you need to have an understanding on software defined radio. Once you have a software defined radio idea, basic idea, you can move to cognitive radio. It's fine, you can get an understanding. But before these two technologies, do we have a knowledge on basic radio functions or traditional radio functions? Mostly no. So and unless we don't have a basics in these radio functions or radio technologies, we cannot move to the upper upper technologies like uh, software defined radio or cognitive radio uh, which is the current trend nowadays so i plan to give a small video on the basic radio functions and you can get an understanding over this topic and later on we can move to the next one software defined radio and then to the interesting cognitive radio part so let's get started the basic functions of radios or radio technology. So we can see here the block diagram of uh, functions of radio or traditional radio. So here the first block it's a human being you can see a human being and some sound waveform is produced so basically we can consider this block as the information source when we are talking or speaking that we we are try to convey an information that is a source of information so once we are talking the information source we call it as a signal sound signal which is taken by the second block that is a transducer block and the transducer block what it is doing means it take the sound in sound signal as input and produce an electrical or can say electronic signal as output so uh, i will explain how this happens for example consider a transducer like a real time example you can take a condenser mic as a transducer so what a mic do normally means uh, when people when we are talking something the sound signal will be absorbed by the condenser mic the diaphragm movement create a equivalent electrical signal in the background so this is how the sound signal is converted to electrical signal so basically this uh, a condenser mic can act as a transducer here convert a sound signal into electrical signals so once the electrical signal is produced that is fed into the next block which is nothing but a electronic processing sessions so if you are talking about electronic processing session we have a number of signal functions that happens in that particular area so we know the basic communication theory process between the information source until the transmitting end the antenna transmit the information to the medium we have a number of signal processing stage so this so basic functions that are happening is the information source is converted to an another format called encoding process we use some encoding techniques that happen in your uh, transmitter session then after the encoding techniques we we need to carry the information from your transmitted side to the end side that is your receiver side we need a carrier for that we are using a modulation for example frequency modulation or uh, amplitude modulations are the normal kind of modulation techniques we use so after this encoding techniques are the, and the modulation schemes the processed signal is given to the next stage is nothing but a transmitter session where we have a transmitter antenna which can able to transmit the information into the medium basically air is your transmitting medium so between the transmitter antenna and your electronic processor session 
we have an amplifier session in between these two and what is the need for that amplifier session is that the amplifier will amplify the signal strength so that the transmitter can able to transmit the information to a longer range the signal can able to go a longer range without uh, com compromising for your interference that happening in the path so that a quality of signal or received signal strength will be improved so that is the basic functions of using a amplifier and especially we are using a power amplifier to improve the signal strength so once the transmitter transmit the signal into the medium in the range we use a receiving antenna in the receiver side so the receiver antenna start receiving the signal and later the received signal is given into um, and we do this uh, the same kind of electronic processor session is available in the receiver side and the opposite uh, functions like uh, transmitter session we do um, encoding then we do uh, modulation modulations in the transmit uh, receiver side when the signal is received the opposite functions can be done that is initially demodulation can be done removing the carrier from the signal and extracting the message then later decoding techniques will be done according to the kind of algorithm or coding techniques that used in the encoding part that is in the transmitter session later on that electronic signal is given as an input to the transducer again we are using a transducer in the receiver side so the transducer transducer convert again the electronic signal into a sound signal basically i can use a speaker a speaker you can give the electrical signal as an input and the speaker diaphragm will vibrate and the sound signal will be produced so this is how an information from the source go through the number of sessions like transducers then electronic processors then to the transmitters and after the medium your air travel through the air then it reaches the receiver side and after the receiver side it goes to few signal processing state functions then it given to transducers then after that it converted to a sound waveform this is the functions of radio that happens when using a traditional radio architecture i hope you got an understanding on how the information travel through all the modules and reach just the receiver side and this is the basic idea and if you got the basic idea we can move to software defined radio because software defined radio most of the functions are done by software here it's all done by a hardware so this is traditional radio systems hope you understand and keep stay tuned the next video on introduction to software defined radio will be coming soon thank you